So we're going to augment our code one more time and we're going to go ahead and add a conditional statement that is going to find out if the hidden text is displayed and if it is we'll go ahead and set up a little toggle so that we'll leave the button on here and we'll just kind of display it and then it will allow the user to click it again to hide the text so the user will actually be allowed to hide and show the text as necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and in my HTML, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the what the text says so that it makes a little bit more sense. So we'll go ahead and just say hide slash show so that now the button's going to show up and say hide show so the user will know that that's a toggle. And we'll go back into our scripts and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to let's get rid of some of the things that are currently here. We'll get rid of hiding the actual button and we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave our event handler the dot click and what we're going to put here is we're going to change this to now say if and then we'll open parentheses and put the jQuery statement and then we're going to go ahead and put another set of parentheses if hide box okay and then we're going to get rid of all of this right here and we're going to use the keyword of dot is and then I'm going to go ahead and pass on a attribute of visible and we'll close this with a single quote and close the parentheses twice we'll open another curly brace and then I'm going to tell it what to do within the curly brace so if it is visible then we're going to go ahead and tell our page what we want to have happen and what we want to have happen is we want the hide box let's make sure we get the class name in there dot hide box and we want it to be hidden so we'll put dot hide we'll open and close the parentheses and put the semicolon to terminate our statement so here when the link is clicked if the hide box is visible then hide the hide box okay, that makes sense we'll go ahead and we'll add the next part of our statement when you're doing a conditional statement you're always going to have to pass on what happens if this is true and then also offer a, another option if in case this is not true so it's almost like a true false type of condition it's very common that you'll be using this sort of statement in almost any kind of programming and we're going to use it a lot in the rest of our course but you need jQuery to evaluate and see if this is true or if it is false so if the hide box is visible it's going to hide the hide box else and then we need to tell it what we want to have help and if that is not true so if that is not true we want the hide box to become visible so we'll pass on the dot show action to allow that to show and we'll need one more curly brace to terminate our code so let's go ahead and save this and we'll give it a test in the browser here's our page the box is hidden when we click our hide button right here and this doesn't really make sense at this point because it says hide so we'll fix that in a second but the text does show and if we click it again the text disappears so this is great we've created a toggle let's go ahead and let's make this a little bit more intuitive for the user I'll go into the HTML and I'm just gonna change the text to really say show slash hide so now it'll make sense in whatever context the user sees so here you go you don't see the text when we click it the text then does appear and if we click it again the text disappears so what a very powerful feature now we're able to test to see something is happening is is gonna return a true or false depending on whether the elements match this selector match the fact that it's visible and then it's going to flip-flop between these two states and show or hide the hide box depending on if the hide box is actually visible so this type of functionality is referred to as a toggle and toggling elements between two states is really common many jQuery functions are going to have versions that allow for 
toggling the elements and this is just a really simple version of show hide that we've created here kind of like a simple little conditional statement that we're testing for